Hey folks, welcome back to Hello Bella. So far in this channel, we have spoken about almost all of our ape as well as human ancestors, their lifestyle, their origin, and even their build. And now, as per your request, we are back with another video on a similar topic. This time, we will be discussing everything about our mysterious ancestor known as Homo antecessor. So do not go anywhere. Before we begin, a kind reminder to check out our previous videos, give us your feedback and remember to hit like and subscribe. Humans and Neanderthals split from a common ancestor about half a million years ago. While many will tell you we don't really know who that common ancestor was, others will say we do and give you the name of the species Homo heidelbergensis. An even smaller portion will point to another possibility which is a controversial species called Homo antecessor. To begin with, there was a scarcity of fossils with this species but somehow from those that were recovered, they gathered as much information as possible. The earliest site for fossils of this species is Ata Puerca and Cima del Elefante which means Pit of the Elephant suggesting that they may have crossed the Mediterranean Sea from North Africa during a period of lower sea levels. Remains of over 80 fossils representing at least 6 individuals and including skeletal and cranial remains were found at Grandolina in Atapuerca, Spain between 1994 and 1996, including those of stone flakes and animal bones. The human fossils included an isolated molar and a jawbone with some front teeth belonging to an individual aged between 20 and 25 years and the cranium of a 10-year-old juvenile. This species lived between 1.2 to 0.8 million years ago. Now due to the scarcity of their fossils, a little is known about their physical appearance Although, from the few information gathered, the height of an average male was found to be 1.75 meters and weighed around 80 kgs, while the females were approximately 1.5 meters tall, weighing 60 kgs. Brain size was approximately between 1,000 cubic centimeters and 1,150 cubic centimeters, and the body shape and size was similar to modern humans, but more robust. Facial structure was quite modern, including a modern-looking mid-face, hollowed cheekbone and projecting nose. Archaic features were also present and includes a low forehead and marked double brow ridge similar to the Neanderthals, and a protruding occipital bun at the rear of the skull which is an area that sticks out at the back of the head. Function of this bun is not exactly known. One interesting thing about them is that based upon cranial anatomy, they are thought to have been capable of detecting the same range of sounds as modern humans. This species name is highly debated with many considering the remains to be Homo heidelbergensis but then after proper study, they discovered a combination of unique features and came to a conclusion that they had discovered a new species and the name Homo antecessor was announced in 1997 by J.L. Arsuaga. Studies also show that they might have been right-handed and used a symbolic language to communicate. The name of this species actually means explorer and was known to have been present in England and France besides Spain and based on the teeth eruption pattern, the researchers think that they had the same development stages as Homo sapiens and some dental and cranial features suggest Homo antecessor is descended from Homo ergaster. It is also believed that these people belonged to the first human population as yet known from the European continent. Coming to phylogeny or the evolutionary tree and how this species fits in. A hypothetical scenario was put out. We have mentioned Homo ergaster in a few videos. This species was said to have given rise to Homo antecessor in Africa. Now, about 1 million years ago, Homo antecessor probably spread via the Middle East to Europe, including Grandolina where the first fossils were found. Then in Europe, 
Homo antecessor evolved into Homo heidelbergensis, yes, the exact species that it was thought to be in the first place, which then gave rise to the Neanderthals. While in Africa, Homo antecessor evolved into Homo sapiens via a different route. However, in this hypothetical evolution, Homo heidelbergensis is the one leading to the rise of the modern humans as it is the descendant of Homo antecessor in Europe and that is the story of how it fits in the evolutionary tree. Another suggestion was that Homo antecessor may have evolved from a population of Homo erectus living in Africa more than 1.5 million years ago and then migrated to Europe. Now that that is cleared, let's elaborate on the tools found along with the other fossils. When studied, it was concluded that the stone tools were of the older one type. They included simple cutting flakes, lacking the more sophisticated tools found elsewhere at this time. At Cima del Elefante, the cave seemed to be a tool-making site where flakes showing clear evidence of manufacturing techniques were found. Study of their lifestyle suggested that they were probably nomadic and followed food sources. They dwelt in caves but they did not live there permanently, rather they visited them for certain activities or at certain times of the year. To end this video, I would like to add a newly found information. Sometime last year, that is 2020, a paper was published which writes that a genetic DNA sequence was obtained from a tooth of this species that was 800,000 years old. This sequence shows that Homo antecessor is closely related to Homo sapiens, Neanderthals and the Denisovans. According to another paper, fossils and tools remains have also been discovered in England suggesting that Homo antecessor lived in England about 950,000 years ago and that they were probably the earliest known population of the genus Homo in Northern Europe. So that is it guys, we have come to the end of the video, hope you liked it. Do share your thoughts in the comment section down below and also tell us what you would like us to make a video on next. For more videos related to human species, do check our channel out and do not forget to give us some love by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Till then, this is Halabella and see you soon in our next video.